Perpetual Mommy here today to do a Target Dollar Spot summertime haul for all of you. So we did go to Target today and they had some of the summer stuff out. They didn't have all their stuff, but they did have some stuff out. So I went ahead and I picked up some Target Dollar Spot summer fun things. And then in this video as well, you guys, I'm going to do a mini haul for the toddler clothes that we got for the girls for the summer, because especially our three-year-old, she has just sprouted. Like she wears a five, six now, you know, the four T's are like, you know, waiter pants on her. So they both needed some new summer clothes. So we hit the children's place when they're having their epic sale. And the reason I want to include that in here, you guys, is because right now they're having a 50% off basically everything online. So if you shop online at the children's place, like everything's like 50% off. So some of the stuff you guys, I got for two bucks. So I'll, I'll take a picture of our receipt so you can see like literally got shorts for four bucks, shirts for like $2 and a penny, like super great deal. So if you shop at the children's place, you want to hit that online deal. But let's go ahead and jump on in right now really quick to the Target dollar spot stuff. So the first things that I want to talk to you guys about are some summertime activities that we got for the kids. So my girls are obsessed with balls and our balls outside because we live in California it's so hot all the time they don't make it a really long time they kind of get gross pretty quick so that one needs to be inflated it's rolling kind of funny but that's a really pretty ombre color and then we have a little pink one so I'm just going to kind of roll them out of the way there and then I got this floppy hat you guys and I put it on and my husband laughed at me like he had to turn around away from me because he was laughing but it says hello sunshine and I kind of wish it wasn't pink but um, the black one said on vacay which I'm never on vacay you guys so that doesn't make any sense at all but um, this was I think this was like the most expensive thing I bought this was five dollars because I've had skin cancer it's no joke I wear sunscreen all the time I still burn through like the 30 SPF reapplying like I said, I've had skin cancer. So I have to cover up. So that's my fun new floppy hat that my husband laughed at me for having. But you know, we're all good there. And then we did get some summertime activities for using as a family. So we got this, what do they call this? I don't even know what this game is called. They call it scoop and toss, but um, really cute. So that's for us to play outside. And then along the outside lines, because again, we're always outside at parks, we're always on picnics, we're always in the backyard. Um, these were on sale, these giant solid wood dice. So I figured I could do this with the 23 year old, with the 14 year old, with my husband, even with the toddlers that we could do this. We had a big expanse outside and we could even use this for counting for the toddlers to have them, to have them go over, uh, you know, what numbers, how high, because both the girls can count to about 30. So I have a two year old and a three year old. So I think it would be a really good kind of counting activity as well. But these are the giant solid wood dice. I hadn't actually seen those before, so. And I was lamenting whether or not to buy them. And the lady at the checkout, so she's like, you can return them if you don't like them. I'm like, oh, yes, that's true. And then also for our outside fun, I did get another one of these outdoor picnic mats with the flamingos on it. Flamingo seems to be their theme this year. Lots of flamingo stuff. So right here, I got this for my sister. It's a flamingo drink floaty. She's obsessed with flamingos, so I thought that would be fun to get for her. And then... Also on flamingos, a little flamingo pouch, and it's got a little rubber flamingo on the pull tab, which is kind of cute. So I just thought this would be fun to put some like activities in for the girls. Um, so I'll put that right here. And then this pouch. So I don't know if you watched it, you guys, but I did a packing video recently on a bag that I had packed for a weekend away. We lost a family member. We had to be gone for a while. But in that bag, I packed up one of the pouches from last year with a bunch of the girls' drawing activities. So I did pick one of these up because I only have one. I thought it'd be great to have a second one, but it holds so much. So I will link that video at the end here and in the description below, and I'll put the time on there too so you can go right to that part of the video if you want to see how I had this packed up with arts and crafts stuff that we take out. Like we were gone today for about six hours from the house and I took it with us and the girls were in it using it all the time and then kind of to keep inside there to add to their arts and crafts stuff I did get these little dollar books one's the America's 50 states and then I got the solar system they just seemed really cute and fun and kind of age appropriate so we like those and then also to go in there you guys they had these mini mega activity books now these were three bucks but they're really fun. So some of the activities might be a little advanced, but there's some tracing stuff, there's some number stuff, um, and they come with stickers too. So the stickers are really cute in the back. So it just seemed like a great deal for three bucks. Could toss it in there. So I put some blank white paper in there, some colored pencils, put these in there, and you got a great activity kit. 
also along those activity lines, they had these sand play buckets. So I got a pink one and a purple one. And the reason I got the two different colors is they had different shapes for the mold. So this one has like sea life on it and this one's dinosaur. So I thought that would just be fun. And these were reasonable, they were three bucks. And I thought for the molds and the sand, that was a pretty decent price. And then we also got a couple more of these sticker books. So we have dinosaurs and mermaids because you know, gotta be well-rounded with the girls. Girly stuff, not girly stuff. And then also for the car, for the summertime, I like to keep a lot of stuff in the car in case we hit a park and we're there for a really long time. So they had this felt tic-tac-toe and this I thought was really appropriate for the three-year-old. She really, she can do tic-tac-toe pretty good. So this would be pretty fun for her to do. And then, uh, you know, the two-year-old safe to, you know, play along with us. And I say play along with us, like, you know, her version of playing, but for a buck, thought that was a really good deal. And then you guys, bubble wands for the diaper bag. Again, for that park when we end up somewhere stuck longer than we want to be or we end up outside and we need some activities to do, we got some bubbles. Now, I think this is a great size for the diaper bag. This size is more for home, but it was Moana, so I couldn't pass that up. Now, also for the diaper bag and also along the flamingo lines, you guys, are these paper straws. Are you kidding me? They are like gold foiled flamingo straws. So cute. And one of the reasons I got these is because they are paper straws. A lot of the places that we go, um, like the zoo, the safari park, it's always going to be the wild animal park to me. They require you, if you use a straw, to have it be a paper straw. And paper straws are actually fairly hard to find. Not only were they paper straws, but they were super cute. So I had to get two. And then go 80s you guys these like push pencils the kind where you take the little nub off the top and push it in the bottom when you need a sharp lead these were a buck for all of these and again i thought that'd be great to put in their little car activity kit that i'm going to be making and then my girls are obsessed 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 if you have toddlers i don't know if yours are too making us food they like to make us cakes they like to make us salads they like to make us whatever pretend food they can make us um and this is a first kind of dessert set that i've seen that hasn't been like cupcakes or cake so i thought it was really cute and this was three dollars also my girls they love their hooded towels but you can only have so many hooded towels those things are expensive <laughs> So we saw these, and this is the first kind of kid towel that I've seen. I was like, wow, that is uber cute. And we have the girls that we are equal opportunity. If it's traditional boy and it's cute, we're all over it for our girls. If they like it, we're not, you know, pink's not for just for girls and, you know, blue's not just for boys. So that being said, we picked up two of these beach towels with the sharks on them. So one for each girl. This was the cutest print. They had several prints, but I thought this was the most fun. My husband's like, wow, if that's really a print, I want one. But I told him, I said, I don't think it'll be quite big enough for you, honey. And then to keep all of these kind of summertime fun activities in the car from rolling around my car, we did get one of these little shark bags. And the shark bag was three bucks. And I'm gonna scooch over so we have more room. And, uh, the very last thing we bought at Target, the only thing that wasn't in the dark Target dollar spot were the dice. And we have been using the Aqua Pure wipes from Pampers for the girls. You guys know I love my parasol wipes, but they are so hard to buy, you guys. Like, you can only buy them online. You, they're expensive to ship. It's kind of a pain. So we started using these, and I actually really like them. I like them more than water wipes. I feel like they are stronger and kind of do a better job. So, and I like the packaging better. This has actual pop top on it, like the plastic pop tops, where the water wipes just have the um, sticker kind of closure, which I don't enjoy. So I picked up another two packs of those, but everything else you guys besides this and the dice came from the Target dollar spot section. Super excited to put some of these goodies in the car, pack them up as activity kits and uh, get them going for summer. The only thing I really wanted that I didn't find were the drink stirs. I really wanted those flamingo drink stirs, you guys, but wasn't able to find them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, move all this stuff out of the way, and then we'll go over the clothing. Okay guys, so let's go over the toddler summer clothing haul that I did. So I only got two shirts from Target. The rest of the stuff is from the children's place. But the Target stuff, you know, I told you guys, were equal opportunity. A lot of the clothes that we love from Target, the Cat and Jack stuff, is actually boy stuff, like from the boy section. So we picked up two of these. So we have a 4T and a 5T. This is the 4T, and then we have the 5T. It's exactly the same but it's a shark coming out of the pocket. It says sharks need hugs too. So my girls are obsessed with sea life. They're obsessed with dolphins and sharks and this was just so cute. So we got two of those. 
me get these out of the way. And then I'm gonna try to stick um, with the girls as far as their sizes go, like for each one of them. Let's see here. All right, so the first thing I have is for my my three-year-old. Now my three-year-old, you guys, wears a 5T or a 5-6. So on the bottom, she can sometimes get away with a 4, but usually a 5, and then the top, the top she wears a 5-6 now in girls, and she's only 3. So these are her little shorts, and they do have elastic on the inside. So everything I purchased does have elastic on the inside because my kids are ridiculously skinny. So she has that little pair of shorts, and then just a plain little white top, which is really cute, and I'll hold it up so you guys can see. But I really like the plain shirts just for when we're out and playing. Makes it easier to wash, easier to stain. We're not worrying about silk screen. I really don't love silk screen on shirts. And then my girls are obsessed with butterflies. So she has a pair of these butterfly shorts. And then this butterfly shirt. And look at how cute the shirt is, you guys. Little girl with the butterflies. So cute. So this is still stuff for the five, or excuse me, for the three-year-old. I don't know why I just called her five. Wow, I just aged her a bunch. And then these little pair of gold foil shorts in 5T. Now these we may have to hem and take in at the waist because they don't have, you know, sizable waist. This is just um, a decorative drawstring. It's not real, so we'll probably have to take those in. And just like the white shirt, this little black shirt to go with these little black shorts. And then you guys so cute look at these pants so they're stretchy jean material pants with roses they were just the color was just so stunning had to get them for her now moving on for the stuff for the two-year-old now my two-year-old wears a 4t on the bottom and she wears a solid like four or five on the top usually so she didn't get the butterfly shorts she got butterfly pants so these pants are just like the pink flower ones i just showed you except that they're butterflies now I don't know about you guys but I find that the stuff at the children's place runs a little bit small too so if you're on the fence about a size I would size up so this is their size 5 6 shirt so this to me looks a little bit small for a 5 6 and this is a size that I bought for my two-year-old I do like their shirts to be a little bit long I don't like it when they have like little you know shorty shirts when they lift their arms and you guys look at this coveralls this maybe make it a little hard for her to go potty but I just couldn't pass them up because they are so cute and please excuse my son he's like coughing in the background he went on his eighth grade trip and came back extremely sick the joys of traveling on an airplane and then this is a little skirt overall set so cute and this will be good for potty so there's no shorts underneath I can put a little pair of shorts on her she has lots of undershorts and to go with that I just got her a little navy shirt And I will insert um, the receipts. You guys can see we had, and I don't remember what the children's place calls their cash, but you know, they have like the bucks. We had $60 worth of children's place cash. The total on the clothes came to $65, you guys. So it literally cost me like nothing to get all of this stuff. So it was a really good deal. And again, they're having their 50% off their site-wide sale right now. So if you're interested and you need stuff for your little one for summer or for anything, run, go. So, you know, 50% off is great. Like I said, these shirts were $2. I think they were $2 at the penny. So um, I will take a picture of the receipt so you can see it. So that's it for me, you guys. I hope you're all well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.